Well, the first time unemployment report comes out with 427,000 people, another week of over 400,000 people filing for first time claims. We see 45,000 people falling off the emergency unemployment rolls, meaning another 50,000 or so people uh, who are being added to the non-persons list. While our economy continues to deteriorate, uh, and polls are even showing now that 48% of the people in this nation believe that we're about to enter a Great Depression. What is our leadership doing? We're trying to hold on to empire America. Hillary Clinton makes a statement saying Yemen must adhere to the ceasefire. Yemen, a sovereign nation, our Secretary of State is telling them, dictating to them, they must adhere to this ceasefire. Two, our, two lines down on my website, the next headline reads, uh, the uh, United States has increased its military activity in Yemen. You see, we dictate to these other nations around the globe what they will and will not do, while our own nation is withering and dying. Jim Rogers called it out brilliantly today in an article that I'll attach to this. The debt is killing this nation. It's absolutely killing our country. And we're going to have a collapse far, far worse than anything we ever dreamed of in 2008. Now, he isn't a mainstream shill who's going to get out there and tell you, you need to get uh, the credit card limit raised by another $2 trillion. That's the only answer. He's not going to come out there and say, we have to bail out the too big to fail. That's the only answer. He's telling it like it is. The reason that we're so far in debt has nothing to do with Social Security, nothing to do with Medicaid or Medicare, has nothing to do with government uh, benefits or unions. It has everything to do with the United States having a military presence in 115 countries around the world. We're destroying our nation by spinning it into oblivion, and we're making enemies around the world by people like our Secretary of State dictating who will and who will not win, what they will and will not do, who will live, who will die. We have no business over there. We have no right to be over there telling sovereign nations like Yemen how to handle their business. We have absolutely no right to be in a nation like Libya, uh, flying sorties daily, killing people uh, so we can spread democracy. That's the BS reason that's given for it. But in reality, it's just a, another attempt to hold on to this empire, Empire America. It is about to change in this country and around the world. You better get mentally prepared for it, because if you don't, it's going to be nothing more than a slap uh, in the face, a very hard dose of reality to swallow. Stories are attached. That's all I got.